Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Seven Days Today, Day 14, I think it is, isn't it? So, Horde incoming. I'm not sure whether it's going to spend it on the church again, to be honest. Uh, we, we, we sort of made the mistake of not really checking how much structural damage it had taken. 12.41, holy shit. Uh, I think we've lost a little bit of time there, haven't we? Um, we do need to get a wriggle on, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, let, I'll tell you what, let's eat before we do anything. Because before. Let's take that. Two of those, aren't we? Ooh, yeah, bugger. Yeah, I'm, my hands are cold because I've been out, so. Uh, it's a bit weird using the Steam controller. <laughs> I feel a bit ham fisted at the minute. Let's take that. That and to make the golden tea. Shall we this one it? Okay. Um, we don't want to take that iron, do we? You right, dead man? How you doing, dude? Hello, Gizmo. Hello, Confuser. Hello, Simpsy. Welcome back, indeed. Spice Marine. Let's Vegas. Hard to get. Klitauk. How you doing, right, Kratak? How you doing, mate? I'm blind. Going to Mr. Horde after I did all the work. In fairness, the wife may, in fact, murder me if I bail on our lunch. 45 more minutes, most likely. Oh, <laughs> blind. Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, right, okay. Let's have a little think. From previous experience, if we don't go early on, it, it ends badly for us, doesn't it? So I think we really should, at the very least, go and have a look at where we're going to spend the evening. That will attack still. Very tempting to start laying a farm inside here. I really need to do terraforming first. I could backfill this, but then the problem is when they breach from the other side, they're digging through earth, aren't they? It's really hard, you know, to, to, to sort of gauge what it is I want to do here. I think uh, flat land is becoming a, a very scarce commodity in seven days to die, isn't it? Your part is required. You've been a most magnanimous host. And you've waited too long for this moment. Who was that? Blind, thank you very much, sir. Your part is required. I'm not sure what's ahead You've been a most magnanimous host. And you've waited too long for this moment. Well, should we go? Should we go? Should we go and spend it in the in the posh house? Thanks, Dominicus. You're right, DF Church. Hello, special big K. After you did all the work, what? What did you mean by the work anyway? Blind. Sorry, mate. I... Oh, hang on. Let, let, let's go and get fed and watered before we head out. Actually, sod that. We've got a little bit of time, haven't we? Do these two sides look pretty... Pretty straightforward Hello? five blocks high, don't they? So... You're at TrexX. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. How are you doing? Um... Yeah, alright. Bacon and eggs. A pre hoard lunch. Bacon and eggs. Like B. How are we doing, food wise? Very quickly, mate, this last bacon and eggs. Switch those down. Pop that back in there. Hundred percent. I don't. I don't think I'll take any feed. 
to be honest. We'll, we'll be hungry by the time morning comes, but I mean, that's sort of why we have this, isn't it? I mean, we'll, we'll take take a couple of tin feed sources for uh, just for the horde evening. Right, let's get combat ready then. Quite happy with that loadout. We've got healing bandages. We've got the med kit. We, we look, we're looking pretty good. To be fair, we just need to try and hide out from fucking the tier 2 horde. There's just nothing to be gained out of trying to fight them at the minute. We, we know the horde just increases exponentially as you uh, start twatting them with spikes or arrows, so... Bill Murray was at the last two Cubs games freaking out as they won't... Huge... What? If I can't figure that out for... Is he a big Cubs fan or is he not a big Cubs fan? Um... Starting a new game, thanks to you. Forgot how hard it is. Uh, pe people really underestimate that, don't they? It's really hard, Confuser, honestly. Um, I think if, if you're sitting there even in the cold light of day, uh, you know, all on your own, not streaming it uh, and taking your time, it's still difficult. It definitely, Alpha 15's really changed it, mate. You spent six of the seven days building for the Horde Grum. I was stoked to, to shoot zombies in the face. Just just tell, tell the missus that it's extremely important that you keep Grum company. <laughs> I, I know your game anyway, Blind. You, you just hoard log, haven't you? It's, it's like it's that convenient... Oh, no, I've got to go for lunch with the missus. No, oh, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> he hasn't done anything for the last seven days. He's just been sitting there admiring the view. Hello. You little hoard logger. <laughs> You're right, Rip here, 36. Thank you very much for the follow, mate. How you doing? How's your weekend going? You're right, Drill Sergeant. Good, pleased to hear it, Truck Sacks. Pleased to hear it, mate. Put one row of log spikes around your base, then after that, put down the spikes you made. Do what? Do put one row of log spikes around your base, and after that, put the spikes. Oh, fuck that, Treble. No way, mate. Not on your Nelly, mate. That That's not a good... Uh... <laughs> what the hell? How has that happened? Well, how the hell did we get... Oh, I remember. There's like, there's like that sort of like a shallow ravine, isn't there? Right on the uh, northern side. Wow. I fancy digging a tunnel straight through there, you know. I really do. We, we're so going to do that. We are going to dig a tunnel that literally goes straight through. That is That has just become extremely high priority for me. Imagine on the mini bike coming straight through a really nicely lit tunnel. Because we might as well do it, because we're going to need the stone anyway. Hopefully it's not soil all the way down. I mean, I, I'd like to think it's not going to be. But uh, what we'll do is we'll find the lowest point down there because I, I think I'm going to use this town like for the for basically all the way through till day 49 I, I want to see if we can actually survive a tier 7 in a prefab quite interesting so where did we spend it last time did we spend it in the church or did we spend it in the cemetery I think it was a cemetery but I don't think it was even here was it it was it was in this this compound I don't know, I'm not sure what to do now. You ran out of arrows before the night came, day one. There are so many more. There are a lot of zombies, mate. <laughs> I, there won't be any loot blind, because we ain't going to be killing them. I'm quite tempted to try. I'm pretty sure that is one of the original bunker buildings, you know, like the scrapyards. It'd be interesting to see what would happen if we tried to survive a night in one of those. I'm, all, I'm quite tempted. I don't know. Oh, no, it's not. It's not one of those, is it? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it's not one of the ones with a ducting or anything, is it? Uh, tell you what, while we're here, we'll try and get some car tyres, couldn't we? Yes. 
35. Fucking hell, bro. That's a bit more like it. <laughs> 35 quality tyres. Jesus. We ain't going to be winning any Grand Prix with them, are we? What's that? That looks interesting. What's this thing up here? Interesting little structure. Oh, is that the bar? Oh, it might be the bar. Yeah, yeah. Buzzy's bar look. Uh, I'm not. I'm not liking the look of this, guys. Well, there's a big building over there. Let's go and have a look at that. <laughs> Make a Hoover down. Holy shit! There's an ostrich hotel. We could sure up in that. Should we sure up in the hotel and just see how long it lasts? So we see how many hordes it can survive. See what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna lead these guys on a wild goose chase. Because what that means we can actually do things during the horde as well if we stay in the hotel. Because we can actually go from room to room. There's normally some quite interesting stuff in there. I think some of the rooms have got bookcases as well, haven't they? Might as well do that for tonight. Nice bit of honey. Actually, thinking about it, I haven't actually got any antibiotics, have I? What have I? That's the pop of pills we've already hit. Let's clear these Z's up. Let's head in. I'm not going to be able to smash the uh, stairwells down, am I? Although, having said that, we've got much better... A m well, a much better pickaxe. Is it Hello? ready to... Not sure whether to repair that now. You're right, Chaos. Thanks for the follow, mate. Oh, shit. That was a terrible shot. We're going to end up with another spawn of 40, 50 Zs here, guys. I'm telling you. It's weird, isn't it? I just don't... I just can't figure it out. That was such a shit shot. Right. Still spawning in, look. Still spawning in. A lot of them spawning in. I suppose we're getting through our arrows. Steely soon, right? Fuck. It looks like they're actually coming out of the hotel, doesn't it? Oh, for God's sake, really, bro? What the fudge monkeys? Where are you going? Come back here, look. How long have we got? Oh, fuck! It's already quarter past five! Fucking shit, dude! Come on, stop spawning in now. This is getting ridiculous, guys. We're going to have to start knocking stairs out, or we're going to end up in a bit of a bit of a pickle. Excellent. It's all quiet. It's all quiet. Let's do it. Uh... Okay. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? How much wood have I got? 1067. Let me just make um let's make another 40 of these. Torture so I can see what the fuck's going on. Should really knock the doors out, shouldn't I? Uh, I don't... No, I don't think so, Jan. I think I left them, mate. Um, for once we... I think they're in... I think we're making them. I think they're in the forge, dude. I want to, I want to get rid of all these, um, these iron ones first. 
it's, it's almost making me kill more zombies than I normally would, so of course that's that's gaining my XP as well. I don't really need to do. Right. There we go. So that's the front entrance. Sort of uh sure not. Shit, is that all I've got? Two. Fuck. Uh okay. Nope, nope. Nope. Right, how long is it gonna take to knock one of these out? Oh fuck! Well at least I can have a drink. <laughs> Oh no! Bit of rim world, super see bit of rim world, like, nice bit of rim world. Ah, oh, dear me. Yeah, the pl the pl I don't. Even, I mean, what do we get on tier two? The, uh, nothing too dramatic, I don't think. Uh, I think I'll, I'll. I'm willing to keep carving this out down here until about eight o'clock this evening. After that, we need to get back upstairs. The problem I have got, of course, is we've not got our escape strategy, which we had last time. I'm going to have to almost do that on the evening. Luckily, we have got enough iron. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a brand new pickaxe. Did anyone watch it? Was it recently, the new season or, or sort of reboot of Red Dwarf? Did that, did that actually happen? I know we were speaking about it months and months and months ago. <laughs> is anyone actually is anybody else on crimes it's like the girlfriend's just come back and the, the dog's going crazy All right, just having a bit of a, a natter and a scream and a chortle with old Cody and the girlfriend there. Right, come on then. 6.50. I think I'm willing to push it to, like I say, 8 o'clock. Uh, even if we need to get, like, one or two of the stairwells done. I'm not sure whether to put spikes down. From, from what I understand, the more zombies you kill, the more zombies you get. So, it's almost like cheating the system, but... What, what's the point? If one if one set of sparks is going to say kill two zombies, but then you're going to open a situation where uh, it, it just don't make sense, does it? It's counterproductive. Definitely not going to have time to smash them all out this time, so I think I'm just going to put some blocks in here, try and slow them down a little bit. I think sometimes I should not listen to what's on the forums, and then we, we, we might find out uh, just how bad this all gets. Let's just block up a couple of them. That, I suppose if we do that... I wonder if that stops them auto-pathing to the staircase. I wonder if that actually just blocks them completely so they don't know there's a staircase, you know, like a stairwell there. This breadcrumb trail. But Alpha 16 is going to be interesting. Uh, uh, from what I can understand, Mad Mole's got high hopes for that. I suppose from his point of view as the game developer, it, it must almost be like this constant battle between sort of keeping it balanced, letting it be fun, but also not letting people cheese their way through it. Have they actually solved the problem with the mini bikes yet? Because before you could just jump on your mini bike and just like sail through the night, couldn't you? As long as you've got fuel and the light on the front, you, you can pretty much just keep out running the board, couldn't you? I wonder what, what's to stop that happening there. Because they can't keep up with you, can they? Let's 
going to be quite interesting to see what happens. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to work out quite as well as I think it's going to work out. Uh, I'm going to keep that one for night time. So we can do, you know, the balcony drop. Actually, oh shit. I don't know what side the balconies are on, guys. Fuck. You right, big buffalo? How you doing? Yeah, the breadcrumb. Breadcrumb trail. He's, he's already he already mentioned it in his Alpha 16 video, didn't he? So I know, they've been on about it for a while on and off. You right, bomber? This stuff's quite soft, isn't it? Like, I'm gonna have to. I'm actually gonna have to leap out of the balcony, go around, check which side the balcony's on, and then pop back in. Nerd pole back in. I did big buffalo. I got myself um, something called a tuna and sweet corn crunch, mate. It was very nice. It's like tuna and mayo with like uh, bits of crispy sort of fresh uh, peppers and stuff in there. Oh, fuck. Oh, you can't do that, can you? Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. Why is he just stopped? Fucking hell, they've already breached before we've even started, look. Jesus Christ. Can you try your day 21 horde inside a tunnel? What sort of tunnel is one that we make? Well, to be honest, if, if that um if that prefab, the scrapyard prefab that we just went past had been a, the bunker, like the original Bob's bunker, I was gonna I was actually gonna break into that and stay in there and see what happened. Because the, the beauty of that place is we've got the exit via the vent system. But alas it uh, it proved not to be. What the fuck's going on? Something in here with me, isn't there? I can hear it. <laughs> Swear I can hear something. Careful. It was very nice, actually, Buffalo. It was very, very nice, mate. Axe it. Oh, it's wood. Oh, shit, I didn't realise that. Nice one, dude. Cheers, mate. What the fuck is it? What is this? What's it actually called? What's the block type? Okay, so let's just shore it up. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm out of wood. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking balls, guys. Oh, they are just going to absolutely rampage up this stair. Oh, my God. We need to get to the roof now. Oh shit, ten- Oh fuck! Oh fuck, I've totally balls this up, haven't I? I don't think we're even gonna get- Oh fuck! Oh, what a total tits up.
Oh, fucking ball sacks, mate. Can I just jump over these? Get the fuck out of the way. I'm in proper panic mode now. Come on, get this fucking door out of the way, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Breach that fucking door, mate. Come on, mate. Come on. 9.34. I think we're just going to get to the roof, guys. Oh, thank fuck for that. Uh, I, I, oh, shit. Let's get some wood. Come on, give me some wood, mate. That it. One. One fucking wood from a table, really. Six from a chair, one from a table. Legit shit, mate. Legit shit. Wait, what did I do with the tool? Oh, it's all right. Okay. Uh, shit, shit, fucking shit. Any wood back from these. Don't get any wood back from spikes. You're taking the piss, bro. That is fucking bullshit. Oh, fucking tits, man. I need to get that block. Okay. Oh shit, it's all got to tits, mate. Right, now the worst thing that can possibly happen is aerial attacks or spider zombies. If, if spider zombies come up here now, I am actually fucked. Oh shit, this is so bad. This actually could not be that much worse, could it? How can I get wood? It's got to be somewhere getting wood up here. Give you something awesome to make up for it. <laughs> Say freaking wooden blocks. <laughs> You're right, Sky. Hello, sup, Scal. How you doing? Oh my God, that that was a that was a legit sniper rifle, mate. Price that. <laughs> They're really, really not gonna uh, take long getting up here, are they? Uh, spikes better than hammer. I think they're already down there. That sounds really loud, doesn't it? What are the chances of a spider zombie coming up here? I don't know. Minimal? <laughs> Listen out for them. <laughs> Just the hunting. I know it's, the, it's it's bad enough in it. That ever present eye of Mordor there. Look. Oh, 
Do we still get a blood moon? Can you, is, is there no moon at all anymore? I wouldn't be safer downstairs to be honest. I had a very nice break, Sky. What about you, mate? How's your headache all turned out today? Did it uh did it fail to rear its nasty little head in the end or Check this uh, cooler box out. Good, me good memories of the farm upon this roof, to be honest. Let's see if we can see them through the middle. It'd be so nice if you could drop a torch down, wouldn't it? And it would actually like slowly fall and you can sort of see it illuminate as it drops. Can't see anything down there. I can see like a pile of debris at the bottom. You can just make it out sort of like a sort of ready pink pile. It's there, but you have to sort of look away from it to see it. And it's not going in and out of shadow, so I'm guessing there's no zombies actually in here at the minute. I wonder if they've done the same thing they did last time, which was to breach into the car park, you know, like the um, the basement car park. Yeah, flares would be awesome. Like, like the, you know, those proper sort of um, snap them in half. Those sort of green, red and blue ones you get. That'd be so fucking sweet. Actually sort of like uh, snap them, throw them, and like they might say illuminate for, say, an hour in game time or something like that. They should definitely do more with lighting in this game. Because they've actually got it working quite nicely now. Yeah, it's sort of quite a threatening darkness of an evening, isn't there? It'd be great to throw one and sort of hits, you know, hear it hissing away. So I'm thinking of glow sticks, aren't I? As long as they don't breach into that room. So the problem I've got is the way down. I don't know what side the um it oh, what the... oh fuck that sounds really fucking close, bro. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that, dude? Did you hear that? What the fuck? That's it. Oh shit, we're having so much trouble, dudes. It's not even fucking like one o'clock yet. Oh, this is so not good. Uh. Well, that's really close, guys. Oh! shit in a brick here. <laughs> the escape plan is over here. So uh, approximately central here, I think. If I dig one square out. I think this will drop me down to the first balcony. I think. Oh, this is freaky as fuck, mate.
is waiting for that that shambling silhouette racing across the hotel roof. You're right, Exodus. Yeah, glow sticks. That's the one. Yeah, sorry, uh, I win. Yeah. But I kind of quite like, you know, the ones that sort of make, you know, that actually burn, that physically burn, and then sort of, uh, you, you can almost imagine, like, the uh, clouds of smoke coming off it as well. Because, I mean, they've got, I suppose, technically, if you think about it, they have actually already got flares in the game, haven't they? Because we've, we've got the, um, the orange mist that pulls out of the top of the... The airdrops. I keep thinking I can hear something. I'm not sure. I've never seen an airdrop at night because they don't happen at night, do they? So I'm not sure if they actually do. Ca I wonder if it's just literally an orange mist that it puts out rather than a light. So that's the escape plan to hit down there. The problem is... Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh. Well, that don't sound good. That don't sound good at all, mate. The problem is, is that as we go down, I think it's—I can't remember. If it's the second or the third floor. There's that. There's that. Just a door, isn't there? So they could literally be waiting for me, and I'm not going to know until I drop down. And I, I've not got enough wood to sort of systematically make ladders on each each descent. I'd love to know what the fuck was going on down there. I really would. I reckon that. I can, I can just literally imagine that they all just literally raced straight up that stairwell that I left. You're right, decarbonizer. Seem to be okay. <laughs> Like in the army, a shotgun shell with light and a parachute descending. Oh, that sucks, T.U.I. We had that happen so many times on the PlayStation 4 version, mate. If You could absolutely guarantee if there was nothing between you and the dog but a door, you needed to fucking move it. They constantly glitch through the doors. And the, the really frustrating thing was it didn't matter what sort of door it was either. I kind of, at first, put it... Just put it down to like just really shit wooden doors that maybe actually had got sort of, you know, breached, but they just weren't showing the damage or something. But it just literally didn't make... No, I'm sure it's been patched because I don't remember it being as bad last time I did play on PlayStation 4, but... Um... I certainly didn't trust doors when it came to dogs. We, we, to be honest, we had zombies glitch through doors a reasonable amount as well, which is always a bit annoying. It made for some great laughs, but... Yeah, I think something's changed with the sounds, to, to be quite honest, uh, Sky. I, I've said numerous times that I find it really hard to locate them, sort of spatially, where, whereas... If you remember in Alpha 14, I was constantly going on about how the sound had saved my life so many times. Because I can actually hit. It's the tops of the trees. Uh, I, you know, I can actually hear them approaching. Like, nine times out of ten, I could literally whirl around with a bow and arrow and just, like, headshot the bastards. I had a really good sense of, um, sort of audio presence. But now, like you said, it, it just seems like there's cacophony of sound. And they've also, I swear to God, they've added more bullshit ambient sounds. You know, like before, you quite often would hear dogs barking in the distance, but it was just an ambient sound. There was no dogs present. I can't help but feel they've added a few of the zombie effects to that as well. I'd love to know where they've gone. 
Yeah, I think you need to come back in and check it out. Well, apparently they're, they're bringing back. I think Mad Mole sort of confirmed it, didn't he? About, you know, the running shadows. I think that's supposed to come back in Alpha 16. That'll be one of the very first mods I'm going to try and push to get working again on the server. No, I'm not sure how compatible it is with the server. I'm not sure what the impact will be, but uh, we'll definitely test it. <laughs> well, you, can, you can make pipe bombs, can't you? I wonder what they cost these days. 10 gunpowder. That's not that bad, actually. That's not bad at all. See, that was the original plan, wasn't it? When we were... Oh, I did actually forget about that. When we, when we were building on top of the hotel, the plan was to have a walkway here. Uh, and essentially build sort of like um, a, a complete concrete shroud all the way down. So that as they breached at the bottom, they really didn't have anywhere to go. So we would lit literally stand in the middle here, just dropping pipe bombs down into them. That would have been really good fun, actually. Ah, oh, good. I tell you what, if I'd remembered that, I might have stuck with a hotel build. I completely forgot about the plan for that. Good. I think that would be a lot of fun. Shit, you're exploding crossbow bolts down there. Drop some pipe bombs down there. It'd just be a killing ground for zombies, wouldn't it? Dr. Bolden, did Xbox get this sort of same update? No, nowhere near, mate. I, I, was, I, was, I was laughing to myself when I saw that the devs have actually said that the console version have basically got Alpha 15. They haven't at all. They've got, they haven't got any of the stuff that's in Alpha 15. But they've, they've got some of the optimizations, apparently. But there's no way that distant terrain or anything is fucking running on my PlayStation 4, mate. <laughs> it ain't happening. I swear they just make stuff up sometimes. Well, I think we've made it, so... Question now is how do we actually get oh shit that was close Oh that one looks clear um I have literally got no fucking wood have I <laughs> The only thing I can think of to to, to do this is maybe to put a spike there and just hope to God if they do breach it. So as I drop down, in fact, what I could do, if I could make ladders, we'd be all right. But Yeah, not so much a pit, DC. We'd simply, you know where the windows are up top? We Imagine that, just uh, the perimeter of that window section would just like be just a, a huge rectangular column reaching all the way down to um, the primary entrance. And uh, and then literally, as, as, they, as they breach the perimeter and come into it, they'd, they'd literally just be in this like square room directly underneath the windows. And we'd just simply just lob shit down at them. So not so much a pit, really. You know, we, we wouldn't dig down into the basement or anything like that. Still pretty intact, actually. This is not how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it left, right, left, right, left, right, so that... Um it, it doesn't matter a huge amount. I could stick with a plan. Why don't they keep the console sets that? You you got to bear in mind, Rory. It's a completely different dev team. It's a it's a company called Iron Galaxy that do the port of the PC version, and they work for Telltale Publishing. So. Very different agenda to what the fun pimps have got, mate. I mean, 
I, I do find it slightly diabolical that a question on the YouTube, uh, Alpha 16 YouTube, that Mad Mole did, and someone asked when's it coming to consoles, and the response was it's already on consoles. It's just a few select things that they need to sort out. It's, it's not at all. There's none of it's in there. None of the UMA zombies are in there. You know, half the points of interest aren't in there. Uh, there's no traders in there. There's no distant terrain in there. <laughs> this is not on there at all, mate. They're not what you're fucking on about, bro. Uh, it's nothing to do with Microsoft Chaos. I mean, that, that obviously slows down the certification process, same as it would on a Sony's console. There is a, a process a patch has to go through or an update has to go through, and it does obviously mean you won't get it as quick as you would on, say, Steam, but uh, there's a lot more to the, the console development. But to, to be honest, I think that the reason that we're not getting so much stuff on console is just because the consoles just can't handle it. It's as simple as that. I mean, this game already brings a lot of PCs chugging to their knees, you know, during busy hordes. I think there's only so much they can they can actually keep throwing at the console, to be honest. Because, I mean, it, it just doesn't play very well as is, does it? It's a shame. It's a shame. Big shame. You're right, Glossy Furball. How you doing, dude? I'm quite, I reckon I could almost jump from here, to be honest. What is that horrible piggy snort noise? Which zombie makes that? It's horrible. Daylight! Yay! You're right, T-Boom. I'm not sure there's some of the UMA zombies down there man. oh fuck oh shit bro where did they actually come in then oh whoa dude fuck me Check the damage out. Holy shit. I've never even been in here, look. Not even on the old game. Oh, oh, oh proper oven, dude. Look at the damage they've done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This was... Oh, my Lord. I tell you what, this hotel would not be standing, would it? Oh my god, look, support pillar already gone here. That is actually quite impressive. Yeah, that's one of the new UMA zombies, look. All oh, right, that's getting a bit close for comfort. I've not really done a huge amount there. I'm kind of guessing... I don't know. I don't know what they were up to. Fucking Jesus. Right, let's get... Oh, shite! Right, home. Let's get home. Let's um, get re-equipped for the day. And then what we'll do is we're going we're gonna to concentrate on trying to make the mini bite. And then the world is our oyster, really, isn't it? Um, I think what I'll do on the way back... Didn't bring a wrench, did I? See any tyres on the way back? We'll see if we can improve on the 391. Let's just throw that up so I know I've got a spare slot. I think it's the crawler that snorts. Too little. I think what we'll do, we'll head home, drop off the drop off the crap, and then and leg, leg it straight back and just start wrenching cars for the the components we need. So we need an engine. What else do we need? We need engine, headlights, battery. Those are the three main things, aren't they? I mean, that's a tier two hood with us being really, really quiet and careful. I mean, imagine if we'd put spikes down and we'd had more zombies coming in. That that place, is it would never last a tier seven, would it? I'll take it all back, to be honest. 
Hello. I thought the hotel ostrich was going to be pretty, pretty game breaking. I think if you could shore up the base in concrete fast enough, you might be able to make it through a tier seven. But I'm not sure what effect those are. You're going to end up with a lot of zombie cops down there, aren't you? That you can't actually reach or kill. Cool stuff. They're definitely, they're definitely uh, starting to come up with some new mechanics that make it a little bit harder for us, which is awesome. I quite enjoyed that. <laughs> they had a great party, they did, didn't they? They did clean up their fucking Stream mess after that. has been they. up for 51 minutes, 38 seconds. You're right, Tuck. <laughs> How you doing, Dolphin? Uh, I'm going to stick with my little log cabin for the time being. I like my little log cabin. It's a little little, little sanctuary here in uh, Grum Valley. Very peaceful. Away from the hustle and bustle of the rest of the apocalypse. Yeah, we came straight back, like I said. So I just took a, a really quick sort of hour's break. Took the, took the old dog for a walk. Uh, just unlucky, I think, Fortune. We, we got we got the two that I hit before, I, I got two two out of two. Uh, it's quite a low percentage. I think it's about 20% chance. So. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a shit what the wheels are. As long as I can get a decent engine and not that horrible put-put that we had last time. Jesus Christ, that thing is... I swear to God, it actually was not... Someone joked in chat... By the time you built this mini bike, it'll actually be quicker to walk, and I don't think they were that far wrong, to be quite honest. What was it like? A uh, was it like a level nineteen uh, engine or something like that? It was something terrible, wasn't it? Uh, I've put one point in it, Jan, which is as many as I can put in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we've got a little bit of Z activity near the Love Shack, look. It's not. So this week, I think I'm going to... if Well, to start with, we're going to work on getting the mini bike, And then once the mini bikes, Will you just... I hate attacking them when they're on a slope like that. They're all over the place, aren't they? Oh, now his head's going to... Oh, nut shot. No, no, no. Headshot. There we go. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, we're going to just work exclusively on trying to get... The mini bike and steel, basically. That's that's all I'm interested in right now. That that that's If we can get steel and a mini bike by the next horde, then... Oh, shit, I left the door open again. And that's that's as much as I can ask for. Get rid of this shit. Okay. Home sweet home. Organics. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh throw this in there. drop. Rotting flesh and a bone. I'll tell you what I'll take. I really, I really missed the vacuum, dudes. Why did they, re why, why remove the vacuum? It was so cool. Just holding down here and just watching it all splurge into your inventory. It was, it was just like one of the best parts of the fucking game that was. No, no. That's all. Uh, what was I doing with mini bike, mini bike parts? Can anyone remember? Here we go. Look, wheels. This is my box of things to take to the forge. I suppose I can now carry the sniper rifle, can't I? 
I'm going to be pissed if I lose that way. I will be really pissed if I lose it. Um, keep a torch with us. Let's go and drop off the weapon parts in my gun safe. So that's... Actually, no, hang on a sec. Can I actually assemble? Yeah, I can. So let's assemble that. No, that. Let's take the torch out. Let's put the torch on the sniper rifle. Put the shotgun in there. Uh, got any sniper parts? Ninety-nine and a forty-one. Nowhere near as good as what we've already got. So that's that's a no-brainer. Throw that in. Take a little bit of that ammo. Because I can actually make ammo now, can't I? Holy shit, that's that... Oh, God, yeah, awesome. We put our nice potted plants. This one out. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful, mate. What's that? You need a nap. You ate Cajun chicken something or other from a family place. <laughs> Called Blue Do. Blue vo Voodoo. Voodoo? I have no idea. It sounds very nice, whatever it was, blind. What is spicy boudin? Never even heard of it, mate. Fresh crawfish. Already shelled by the pound. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that. I've kept it all so that we can go and sell it. You see, um, that—that's the next thing after we've got the mini bike sorted. So, let me just let me just uh, chow down. Uh, make one bacon and eggs. Oh, I'll tell you what, we need to go. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need wood, don't we? Desperately. Boudin is a Cajun sausage. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, right, okay. You're right, chicks. How you doing, mate? Right, now we can move out, so let's keep my sort of normal loadout like that. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrap that one. Break that one down. Scrap that. Feathers I'm just going to pop back upstairs because we're at the point where steel's going to be... Uh, and next nice upgrade, isn't it? So let's pop that in. Keep the torch. Right, okay. Um, so what do we need to actually make a mini bike? Let's have a look. <clears throat> mini bike, should I start with a chassis? So just some iron and clay. So that's in the forge. Then we're going to want... Right, okay. Okay, so let's take... Where did I put the wrenches, guys? Let's take all of those. Oh shit, feed's only 56%, Jesus. That sucks. Okay, so we're going to go out today. We are going to essentially not have enough fucking... Fuck. We're going to get a wood. Just give me one little thing to eat. Come on, come on, come on. 
68% that'll do. So we'll go and chop trees down. Wrong fucking side, dude. <laughs> I should never ever have allowed myself to build a house that's got two doors. It, it, it was just it was never gonna work out well, was it? <laughs> Boudin is a mix of rice and sausage and spices rolled into a ball and battered and deep fried. It does sound really nice, blind. That does sound absolutely delicious, mate. <laughs> like a kebab shop. Probably not a British kebab shop. <laughs> God knows what goes in those, mate. That was a, That sniper rifle is brilliant, mate. That is absolutely fucking spunky dory, that is, mate. Cannot go wrong with it. Actually, zoom in as well. I really need to fix that. Actually, I've not got um, like a scroll zoom. I had it working really well on one of my previous Steam controller configs, and I can't for the life of me remember what the key bindings were. And and Steam had um, a firmware update, and I seem to have lost my local config. Well, week, week three was actually about the farm, mate, but that was assuming that I hadn't had success with the mini bike. Since I have got a mini bike, the farm becomes even more viable because it means we can actually go out looking for um, the corn. We've already found a potato. I reckon we'll have a farm up and running by the end of week four. <laughs> I don't know, blind. I don't know, mate. I, I, I should imagine on a deathbed. <laughs> Would you give up all that fried food for another year, mate? I don't know. I'm not sure that that, that works like that, mate. I'm the same, though, dude. I absolutely love uh, curry. I, I, well, I love spicy food, mate. Absolutely adore spicy food. I dread the day where I, I end up with some sort of, I, I don't know, what, what's that? Someone mentioned it in chat yesterday. Uh, acid reflux. Oh, Friday, sorry. You know, a lot of people get that, you know, if, if, if they've led a life of a little bit too much spicy food. But the thought of not being able to eat something like a curry or, or even like piri piri chicken or something, that'd be heartbreaking, mate. have to have a spicy tang to everything. Yeah, we're, get, we're hitting wood now, and I'm just trying to keep an eye out for any uh, animals while we do it, so... You wouldn't give up a spicy food if it gave you five more years. It's easy to say now, though, isn't it, Blind? But I know what you mean, mate. I do know what you mean. It's quite interesting, actually. The girlfriend, for example, when I first uh, started sort of seeing her, she, um, if we went out for a curry, she, she'd, you know, ha at most have something like, say, a vegetable uh, biryani, uh, which essentially is, is just like a, a vegetable sort of rice with, with a very, very mild curry sauce that you can add as much as you want to. The sauce comes separate to the rice. And uh, over the years, uh, she's just started getting more and more adventurous. And she has some fucking spicy stuff now, I tell you. Have I ever had cauliflower rice? I have, mate. I've, I've often made cauliflower rice, and it's fucking delicious. Well, when I first got told about cauliflower rice buffalo, I, I, I seriously thought someone was taking the piss. I was like, that cannot possibly be nice. And I tell you what. I always do it in a Chinese style, though, buffalo, rather than like, um, say, say, like with a curry or anything. So it's, it's actually very, very tasty. Fun to cook as well. Lamb, some, oh yeah, samosas are gorgeous. I actually really like my uh, my lamb and chicken samosas, like like you wouldn't believe. Once you've had a spot, once you've had a stomach ulcer, spicy food is basically out. What, what causes stomach ulcers? That's actually interesting. Yeah, what, what what causes those? Oh, nice one, Chrissy. <laughs> Twenty-two wings in thirty minutes. Fucking hell, mate. 
I used to eat a hell of a lot of that cauliflower rice, actually, mate. I used to do, like, um, a beef kind of stir-fry with it. Really, really tasty. Whoa, really? Really, really? That bloody deer gone. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, quick, 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 quick. You do it with panned salmon. Oh, blimey. So basically one stomach ulcer and that's it, you're fucked, right? <laughs> I need to make sure that never happens then, dude. There's a fucking pig down there as well, look. An ulcer is the end result of an imbalance between digestive fluids in the stomach and the duodenum. Oh, right. so, oh, they're actually caused by bacteria. Oh, right. that's interesting. I didn't know that, mate. I, I, I literally, I mean, to, to be honest, if someone asked me about stomach ulcer, I just said, oh, just, just too much spicy food or, you know, just generally eating shit or lots and lots of alcohol without any food and things like that. I just I didn't realize it was a bacteria, mate. Need to make sure that never happens, bro. Fuck, where'd he go? Oh shit, there's a bear up there. Oh, that fucking... Is that bear going to eat the pig? The bears eat pigs. I have no idea. Would a hungry bear muller a pig? What do bears actually fucking eat? <laughs> fucking honey. I don't think they eat... Like, they're very thick, uh, fond of fish, aren't they? Do they actually like actively hunt? Sort of... Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't... I mean, I don't know. Did I? See if you can road kill a bear. Well, we'll have to get the mini bite first, mate. Is that all they eat? Honey and fish? So a bear ain't gonna go running after a pig, no. So bears don't like bacon? Fuck it, I've lost all respect for bears, man. What a crap animal. If there was ever an animal that could hunt down and murder a pig for fresh bacon, it'd be a fucking bear, wouldn't it? The simple bare necessities of Mother Nature's recipes. Forget about your troubles and your strife. Has anyone seen the Jungle Book? Oh my god, I was absolutely gobsmacked, mate. I felt like standing up and fucking cheering at the end of it. Absolutely loved it, mate. I was fucking pretty much blown away by that film. Right, we've got plenty of stinky meat. Shall we head home? Try and get some feathers and eggs on the way back. Depends on the bear. Depends if it's a vegetarian bear. There's a bear that likes a bit of spicy... Uh, spicy chilli. Your ulcer's not stopped you eating spicy food, but it knackered your pancreas, which means you can't drink alcohol anymore. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Jesus, mate. So, so your ulcer knackered your pancreas. What does the pancreas actually do? That produces the boil, doesn't it? Is that right? I'm just going to have a quick look over this ridge line, see if we can find another animal. We don't often go over there, do we? Give me some eggs, guys. Eggs! Bacon and eggs! Give it me!
Maybe you could like uh, you could drink a bottle of Gaviscon or something and then have a nice spicy curry. <laughs> I'd come up with a way, I tell you. <laughs> There'd be some way of doing it. Do you like my spicy? My spicy food. Let's go, fuck it. There's nothing else over there. Bears have been found to dip a stick in in honey and put a stick in that hole. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I've... Um, I don't know whether I've actually seen it soon, but I've certainly sort of... Uh, I know anteaters, for example, with their very long tongues, aren't they? So there are animals that... Well, don't monkeys do the same thing as well? I'm sure that's where I've seen it as opposed to bears. I'm sure, I'm sure there's been something with chimpanzees that will get like a really long stick and, and then sort of coat it in something sticky, but I can't remember what that was that the chimpanzees used. I don't think it was honey, I think it was something else. And then they plunge it into the ant's nest and it's like a like a protein stick for them, isn't it? I'm sure it was just, I'm sure I remember some, watching some chimpanzee sat on his fat ass eating fucking ants with a long stick. I think he used to, did they just not lick it or something? I can't remember. Mother's righteous recipes. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw that in there. Just just for now. Um, and turn it on. Right, we've got four eggs. Two meat. So we've solved the wood issue. We've sort of partially solved the food issue. Wait, I'll wait for that to simmer up. Have a drink. Um, mushroom, blueberries and salmon meat. Just missing a little rock salt. Bears are omnivores. Yeah. Oh no, I, I never actually watched it reboard. It popped up all over my YouTube actually, that did. No, I never actually watched it. Is that is that the recent one? I didn't know it was two bear attacks. I just saw a picture of this rather bloodied bloke who survived the bear attack. It was it was all over like you you must come and watch this because uh, we are YouTube and we've decided you have to. Could have been, couldn't it? Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember Fortune, but yeah, it, it was quite interesting. They'll, they'll sit there for fucking hours apparently, just like slurping off the uh, off the ants. You can't be turning 15 on Tuesday because obviously this is an 18 rated channel, Big Buffalo. So obviously, obviously, I understand that your uh, your maths is horribly wrong there. So I have heard of the 690. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend trying to dip into the 700 series if you could uh, avoid the six six 600 series now, mate. It's uh, it, it's not quite quite there anymore. Uh, and you're probably talking pence to go from the 690 up to the 700 series, mate. Especially if you're looking at any second-hand cards. Best card I ever owned was the GTX 670. That, that thing just, oh, wow. You know, I'm not saying it was the most powerful. Of course it wasn't. Running with a 980 Ti now, but... Um... Should really go and plant some bloody what's it, shouldn't we? Uh, this is the thing I need to remember to do is actually turn it off now. Okay, uh, it's 2.47. Shall we try and hit the town? I've just done it again. I have a wrong fucking side, mate. Let's go and hit the town. Let's go and start wrenching some cars. So that is... I have to sort of follow that. It's quite a long way to go. I, I should have been more efficient there. I should have gone over there chopping trees and getting birds' nests and, and then stopped, done the wrenching and headed home. We've kind of walked around in a big circle till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That was a bad call, mate. Bad, bad call. Yeah, the 670, it, it just seems such amazing bang for buck. It was, it was like my first real big upgrade. Uh, you know, on my return to PC gaming. And that 670, oh, jeez, mate. Used to play everything like beautifully. <laughs> what's, what's that, Michael Manning? Use your finger. 
<laughs> oh my god, Rue. Well, that is fucking shocking, isn't it? I mean, what, what a fucking shit day he had. God damn it, mate. Oh, blinds just died. Just go all out and get a 1080. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't get a 1080 now. 10, 1080 Ti is about to be announced. Well, we already know it's there. Just uh, pre-orders will start up fairly soon, won't they? Right, okay. Wrenchy, wrenchy, muck, fucking wrenchy time, guys. Did he, oh, that chicken decided to run off, look. Right, this is going to take us ages. Because we are going to have a huge spawn of zombies coming in right behind us. I just left it too late in the day to do this, man. Burners and all sorts coming in, look. Right, let me just get free up a slot so we know. No way, fuck the Titan X, mate. Fucking no chance, mate. 1080 Ti is going to shit all over that. As it always does. Have all those poor Titan owners crying yet again because they paid over the odds for a card that is just just an e -peen card. The 1080 Ti with custom coolers slowly shit all over them. I know so many of the original Titan owners that just fucking just swore they'd never do it again and every year they fucking do. <laughs> So it's good for the hospital though. So we get uh, we get their their old cards. Oh, come on, let's go and wrench the shit out of this. That looks like we're relatively clear now. I love the the crackling burn of the, the you know the scorched zombies. The six ninety is almost the equivalent to the ten seventy in SLI support. What you getting? You getting? 690 SLI? What about... There's just, there's just no way, mate. And the power consumption on the 690 is fucking horrendous, dude. Not to make... There is no way you are going to compare a 690 to a 10. There's just no way, mate. You could overclock those 1070s with their thermal threshold so much better. The 690s were just literally... They just sucked power up, mate. They are such a fucking what hungry card. They were fucking amazing what sort of power horses back in the day. It is, yeah, that's it. It's, but that's the point, isn't it, mate? You, you essentially you, you're forced into SLI. And all the all the inherent problems. I will never ever go SLI again. Something miraculous would have to change for me to ever ever consider SLI. It, it's just it's just it doesn't work. It, it's just there are too few games that just take benefits of SLI. There's so many inherent issues with micro stutter and other sort of variables that just just cause really shit frame pacing and and to me it's about the smoothness of, of those you know high frame rates and SLI just doesn't cut it it really doesn't you might get the odd game per year which is like really nice on SLI but it's just not worth it in the long run you're much much better off going for a single card that that packs the punch um I mean, hopefully one day things will change, and I'm really hoping in the world of VR that SLI will make a bit of a return to um, feasibility and viability. But at the moment, fuck SLI. And fuck Crossfire even more. <laughs> I remember building a couple of PCs back in the day with 690s and just looking at the power supplies and going, nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> that needs to come out. <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, the, the, the fucking amount of heat generated by the 690s meant that you really had to seriously make sure that you've got some some decent... Uh, you know, the, quite often your case is a bit of a whatever. Um, you know, even, even a... Hang on, sir. Sorry, I can hear something in the background. Um... Yeah, I mean, you know, you, know you, you can spend an arm and a leg on a case these days, uh, and it'll claim that it's got better airflow and all this jizz and jazz. Uh, or if you're going water cooling, you know, for... It, I, I think the 690s were one of those few cards where you actually really had to think about sort of heat dissipation in your case, because your 690 might be just about keeping itself sort of, uh, you know, thermal, thermal temps that are okay. But in the meantime, it was like slowly cooking everything else inside your PC. You, you, you'd be mad to get a 690, mate. You'd be fucking mad, man. <laughs> Not in a million years. Hello? You're right, computer nerd. How you doing, mate? You're right, Ninja Boy. Oh, Ninja Boy. I, I jumped on your... Um... Stream. You were you were doing uh, da, 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 Cube World, and then you fucked off to play. I can't remember. Was it Daisy or something? No, not Daisy. What was it you went on to play? It looked like you were having quite a lot of fun there, Ninja. But th this is it, though. Tux. Th this is where I think the argument fails, mate. On it, honestly. A SLI, you are literally spending twice the amount of money because you've got two cards normally by the time people decide to go SLI they're in the situation where they buy either buy a new upgraded card or they snatch up their card because of the people are selling for the new iteration and they pick up a second version of their card for a little bit cheaper so it's never quite twice the pennies unless you buy them on day one but you never get twice your bang for your buck it's just pointless mate it's just utterly pointless SLI at the moment there's absolutely no need to do it. it there really isn't. There's better, I'd, I'd much rather just put the pennies away and save up for a single card solution. On the off chance you're going to get that one AAA game that year that just happens to support SLI out. I mean, how many times does a game release and you literally sit there waiting for fucking weeks for the SLI drivers to come out? And even when they do, there's, like I said, it's in inherent frame pacing issues. Even if you've got a G-Sync monitor, SLI still just don't cut it for me, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So what, how, how the fuck are you running two 690s for you? That, that means you've got four cards. <laughs> what the fuck, mate? What sort of power supply have you got to be running two 690s? At, can you even run 690s at SLI? Is it, oh, is it H1Z? Oh, sorry, Ninja. Sorry, mate. Got you. What? I'm not quite paying attention on that one, though. How are we doing? We've got an all right battery out of this so far. Quickly get the feathers if I can. Wait, stop moving, chicken. I do not want that. Go. These, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anything coming from down there? No. You watch them all spawning right behind me. All that Z activity over there now. <coughs> I don't think we've been in this shotgun site. I've just not got, I've just not got the uh, inventory room to make it a viable stop off, have I? Really need to have a spare slot. It's 
stamina. Careful, mate. Silly mistake. Shouldn't be letting that happen. Oh, the, oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I don't know, mate. Should we try it? I never thought of that, dude. I bet you can't. But... We'll do it for science, mate. <laughs> you watch it fucking... Oh, what the hell? Is that doing anything? Oh, hang on. Have we just found a bug? Oh, no. It wasn't, it didn't look like it was taking durability damage, did it? it? Just looked like it was sitting there. I just thought we found an infinite source of whatever they were. Electrical parts then. It looked like it for a moment, didn't it? See, I've not got a, I've not got a free slot. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of doing that. It's it's already 20 past 7 though, mate. So I think I'm going to leave it there, head back home. And then what we'll do is we'll nip back in the morning. <laughs> we'll pop a chest down. It's actually something I've said that we're going to do every time we come here, isn't it? In that northwestern corner. So we, we can just like dump all the crap. Uh, and, th and then we can just do like uh, little runs of an evening once we get the um, the bike up and running. Would have been cool. The thing is though, Jan, it's an asset in game, so I can easily mod it in, mate. I can easily mod it in. We'll just say you need a battery, uh, some electrical parts, and whatever else we decide. So we'll definitely get that, mate. Because it is pretty fucking awesome, to be honest. Yeah, take care, Ninja. Look after yourself, mate. Nice to see you again, buddy. What am I missing for the bike? Quite a lot, to be honest. Um... Stream has been up for one hour, Engine. 28 minutes, is, is 56 the seconds. One. We've got the headlights and we've got the battery. You're right, amazing. Careful. It's a shame because um, we really need to do a bit of an, an inventory of exactly what we need. I think we've, I mean, we'll certainly have enough leather, or will we? Shit, I don't think we're going to have, are we? And I don't really want to have to spend points just to get the the tanning skill as such. Um, there's not a hotel down there, is there? Or is there? Where's the hotel? I'm getting really confused as to what's what here. There was a hotel here, because that's where we spent the evening, wasn't it? So we could just go and um, take the leather sofas apart, can't we, for the leather for the mini bike seat? Right. Home sweet home. 
Here we come. It's amazing how fast the days go, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Yeah, We can go and hit the hotel. I'm sure the hotel was on that eastern city, not the, the southwestern one. But I'm starting to second-guess myself now. I think I think you only need a couple of pipes. Um, but they're, they're easy to get. We'll, as soon as we hit, head back to the town in the morning to get the vehicle parts um we'll just we'll just uh, wrench a couple of toilets out if we haven't already i mean oh, we've got 22 pipes just from wrenching cars why do you have a stream pc and a gaming pc why don't you just stream from your gaming pc because that means I wouldn't be able to stream at quite such high quality because obviously the CPU overhead on the stream PC. At the moment, my, my I can play my game on my gaming rig with my CPU 100% allocated to the game. Whereas if I was streaming from my gaming PC, my CPU is not only having to run the game, but it's also having to run the encoding software for OBS. So you inherently end up with a lower performance in the game. And it also offers up a whole host of other options for me. In terms of lots more monitors and separate keyboards and bots and all that kind of jazz. It's uh, have, Having done both, I could never go back. I really couldn't. It would, uh, it would not be an option for me, mate. It's it's uh, it's a day and night difference in ease of streaming. To be fair, especially when it comes to audio and stuff. Right. Okay. Food. 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 Um. Guessing there's some plant fiber in there, right? So let's just very quickly make ourselves. We treat ourselves to five bows. I've sort of crept up from three to five because the pace has changed so dramatically. Put that away. Let's throw the feathers back up into the gun safe. I'm quite looking forward to getting my steel arrows. In fact, you know what? I really should go and get my calipers out and put them in here safely. Is that they're out there for no reason. I only need to have the calipers in that forge when I... When I uh... Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Oh, I hate the fact it doesn't fly into my backpack. It's, it's, I, I can't believe how much I miss that. It doesn't, it doesn't even make the noise, does it? That noise is it, is it all kind of gets sucked up like a big hoover. All right, there you go. That's all set up for tomorrow. Let's just take those two back. Don't know why I put them away in the first place, to be honest. Um, so we've got a new bow. We've still got plenty of ammo. We've got the, we've got the sniper rifle up, up okay. We've got healing. I don't need 12 paracetamol. It's back healing cupboard. Yeah, it's looking good, guys. Looking good. Has anyone checked Alpha 15 Navas game? I haven't actually, Sky, no. I haven't. It's supposed to be very nice, though, from what I understand. They've done a really good job of sort of sculpting the land. There's some really... Um, what, uh, you know the river in the canyon? That's supposed to be really nice. Yeah, hello, Stacey. How you doing? How long am I on full time? Uh, it, we've been on for hours, mate. I mean, we, we took an hour's break. We started about 8 o'clock this morning, and we've been streaming all the way through. I mean, it's, to give you an idea, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We just took an hour's break, so we'll, we'll keep going for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, your CPU does all the work, mate. Uh, there's other ways. I mean, you, you know, 